All right, my people. You ready, man? We got your final performer of the night. This is her album release party. It dropped Friday. Yeah, you can clap for that first of all. It's called Baby G's and Other Breeze. Let's bring it on home. Blaze the floor. Keep it going. Keep it going. Let's go. Guys, we drove up here from Canada, or down here, whatever the fuck, up or down, what are you gonna do? Uh, and then we end up like at the Burger King and somewhere out of, outside of Buffalo, right? So we are ready to order and the girl is at the cash and I walk up, I'm like, is this where you order? She's like, yeah. And I'm like, can I have a veggie burger? She's like, hi, my name is Jackie, welcome to Burger King, how can I take your order? I'm like, did you not fucking hear that I already took the order? I already gave you the order? What the fuck's happening? Did I get into the zone? Anyways, you know what? Just a little uh, off the top, a little riffaroni. <laughs> and then we're driving along the 78, I don't know, the 91, whatever the fuck it is. And we, we come at a crossroads and we're at West Blood Road. I'm like, what, what happened here? You know? And then we drive a little more and then there's East Blood Road. And then I'm like, where the fuck's all the blood? You know, right? <laughs> New joke. All right, pump it up. Yeah. <laughs> So guys, Easter, eh? Anybody celebrate Easter? Right? Oh, what a day. What a weekend. What a fucking weekend. Doesn't end. Happy. My aunt, this is how my aunt used to say, and she used to say, happy East. That's what she used to say. Happy East. Anybody uh, getting rid of some yeast right now? Anybody got a little itch? It's 2018, man. You can talk about that shit. No big tits. Right, buddy? You know how you guys have, you know you guys have, Mo you guys have Monistat here. You're yeast infection medication. We have Canestin, you know, for, for Canadian yeast infections. Literally, that's what it's called. We're a little different, you know, Canestin, right? And there used to be this commercial that used to. This is what it was. It was like a, a pilot helping an old lady put her luggage in the overhead compartment, and she looks at the camera and she's like, "At my job." I can't afford to be distracted by something like a yeast infection. And I'm, like, I'm like, good for you, okay? Because I'm always looking for a distraction, you know? I, I've done some pretty shitty jobs. I've, I've had tempt. Anybody ever temp in the crowd? Shit, right? Worst. Worst thing you could do. And first day on the job, they want me to number a document in Word. Like, it was pretty complicated. Like, 1.1a, 1.2b. 1.3c, right? And I spent my whole day numbering the document. And at the end of the day, I check my work, and I see that Word has renumbered everything, right? Because Word wants to fuck with you, okay? <laughs> it wants to play mind games. It's like you possibly couldn't have meant what you spent your whole day doing. And then I started to daydream. And I'm like, you know what I could use right now? A yeast infection. <laughs> to get me out of this bullshit that's become my life, you know? Because I look at my coworkers, I'll be like, hey guys, gotta go. Gotta put out the spicy fire. You know? <laughs> and then walk out of the office with a canestin pill on my back like a firefighter. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, little yeasty times, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> right? What a way to start a set. What a way to start a set. Eh? If I was a stripper, that would be my stripper name. Yeasty times. You know? <laughs> right? I'd be like, hey, bro, what do you want? A lap dance or a focaccia? You know what I mean? Rosa Maria Basilico. Obviously, I'm Italian. No fucking shock right there, eh? Is this the Italian from Sweden? That's a lie! How do you have an Italian accent from Sweden? I don't believe you. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Italians are very suspicious of other Italians. That's what we do. Okay, all right. Uh, so the crucifixion, eh? Guys, Good Friday, what a day. That's the biggest day for Italians out of the whole fucking year. It's true because it gives them a reason to cry, you know? Because every other, every other fucking day of the year, they just cry for no reason, you know? But when Good Friday comes, oh my God, they're like, oh, Jesus me, you know what I mean? It's like they went on the fucking cross, right? And the fish, the fish we eat, get out of here. It's a fish fiesta, fried fish, boiled fish, 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 you know? Hey ladies, don't you notice when you eat too much fish? What? Right guys, it's true. I know, look, did you see that? I'm telling the truth. You're like, 
whoa, what's uh, what's going on down in the old nether reach, right? And you're like, oh, fish fiesta. Like, how did I get? How did I forget? All right. I like this Italian guy. Uh, your girlfriend looks upset. What are you gonna do? Um, but like, good for and, and so and, I don't know if they do this here, but in in Toronto's little Italy, they have like a, a Passion of the Christ procession in Little Italy. It's so fucked up. Like, it's basically just a bunch of like Italian Genos. Like, you guys call them Guidos, right? We call them Genos. It's just a bunch of Italian Genos dressed up like Roman soldiers with wigs on. It's so messed up. So you know how when Jesus falls, he falls a lot of times, right? Up, down, poor guy, you know? It's tough. It's a tough day for this guy, right? So at one point, you know, he's on the ground and these Roman soldiers are like, move! Get up! Who do you think you are? Jesus Christ Superstar? You know what I mean? It's so fucked, right? And the guy who actually plays Jesus, his name is Fabio Gesufato, which means, what does that mean exactly? Like Jesus fact, fact of Jesus. I don't know, isn't that weird? Anyways, I'm gonna work that out, you know? I'm gonna work that out, but it really is Gesufato, it's fucked up. Um, and then, so after that, after the College Street procession, we go to mass, and so on Friday, I went up to my parents, they live in the suburbs, like in an Italian suburb, okay? So I'm a little bit late, and I and I when I'm approaching the front door, there's this Italian lady walking out, and she's so angry, and her face is so bitter. She's like, "It's just so full in there." She goes, "I," and she's like, "I'm not gonna stay. I can't stand that long, right?" And I'm like, "That's the difference between you and Jesus Christ." You know what I mean? <laughs> like he hung on the cross, and you can't fucking stand for an hour for this guy. Right? Like, what are you afraid? Your varicose veins are gonna explode? You know? Take it easy. Uh, and then, and then, so, I, does any, has anybody raised Catholic? Did you, have you gone to Good Friday Mass? Yeah. Okay. Right? What's that? I said, don't clap for that shit. Yeah, don't clap for that shit. I know, but like, every, every time I go, I mean, I don't practice. It's not like I'm Catholic anymore, really, but just for the fam, you know? And, Every time you go to Mass, they always sing this song, okay? All the time, and I don't know why, what it means, but here it goes, I'll sing it for you. This is what it is. It's like, Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Silence. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Still nothing. Oh, 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 oh sometimes causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? And everybody's fucking looking at each other like, is this guy for real? You know? And then the next verse. Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? I thought it was a fucking cross, you know? <laughs> First, were you there when they laid him in the tomb? I'm like, how many times are you gonna fucking ask us? No, none of us were there, right? Like, what do you think, there was just one guy, you know, who's like survived that day and has been roaming the earth for 2,000 years. And then he's like, I'm ready, I'm ready to tell everybody what happened, right? What on earth, woo! Okay, love it, I love it, this is awesome, this is so great. Oh my god. Um, so Christmas, right? That's the other big Jesus situation. Uh, and I love Christmas because my dad does the decorating. He, does, he specializes in the nativity scene. And, but he's like introduced a whole new narrative to the miracle of Jesus' birth that I've never seen before, okay? And so like there's the typical, the usual suspects like Mary, Joseph, Baby G's. That's what he calls it, Baby G's. Um, but then there's a whole bunch of other characters that are not in the Bible, you know? And they're basically like just knickknacks from around the house. <laughs> and what would you You know what the people when people give gifts at a wedding? Okay, so at the at, so at this nativity scene there's like, you know, you know the turtle chocolates? So there's collector edition chocolate turtles at the fucking birth. I mean that's that's unbelievable, you know? That they showed that they made it. You know how turtles move so slow, right? And then there's like, there's a ceramic pig. That's the thing, right? 
little temptation for the Jews, you know? Like, who would have thought a Jew would invite a pig to a birth? But there you go, you know? And then there's a unicorn. Guys, it's a unicorn. That's pretty gay, don't you think? Right? But so is a story about a guy who's so into S&M that he willingly gets nailed to the cross for his daddy. You know? Right? Oh, right? Who's into S&M? Huh? This guy, this guy, I, I don't know, I'm not... I mean, I don't mind being a little constrained, but don't, don't wrap anything around me. I know this. <laughs> well, telling you all about it. Uh, <laughs> you know, a little bit of, ooh, you know, it's like a little bit of fear, but then, you know, just a tiny bit, and then safe. Okay. <laughs> oh my God! I just knocked my head on the New York comedy sign. Holy shit, what are you gonna do? Um, what was I talking about? Nativity scene, right? And then, and then there's like a, a flute player from the Middle Ages. Like, there's a, a time-traveling entertainer, you know? Like, either my dad is insane or he's really meta, you know? But he's not the only time traveler because beside the nativity scene, my dad built like a, a miniature church with like miniature pews and a miniature tabernacle and a Bible. And then inside is an adult Jesus, okay? serving his own body of Christ <laughs> to special mo to, to precious moments figurines. <laughs> and, then, and then just outside of the church is Santa Claus just sitting on a fucking rocket chair. <laughs> because he's too fat to get inside. That's what it is. Oh, it's so twisted. That's my life. It's my life. Who sings that? Bon Jovi? Yes. I don't want to say you now. Huh? I just want to live when I'm alive. And that's the lyrics? I'm just riffing, you know what I mean? It's, you can do that with comedy. Okay. <sighs> okay, right. Speaking about so much birth, uh, I, <laughs> just makes me think I had, a, I had, an, ar I had a, an argument uh, about abortion with, a, with an 80-year-old Irish Catholic woman. Uh, <laughs> I know, you speak about birth, then you gotta talk about abortion. You know what I mean? And, <laughs> But it was like just right after the last debate between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, right? And so this woman, this Irish woman, you know, she's a friend of the family and we were having lunch. And, and then I, was, I said, I'm like, I can't believe they're still debating this issue. Like it's 2016, like what a smokescreen, you know? And she's like, what? You think it's a right for a mother to kill a human being? I'm like, relax, okay? It's not a human being, all right? If you take a fetus out in one month, plop it on the stool and say to your friend, hey, what do you think this human being's gonna grow up to be? <laughs> Nothing, okay? Because you took it out too early, right? It's like taking a casserole out of the oven before it was finished cooking, you know? Because you were too fucking nervous about the recipe. You put too much pepper and you're like, holy fuck, man, I, I fucking fucked up dinner. Now I gotta throw this casserole in the compost. That's a fetus, compost ready. You know what I mean? <laughs> I wasn't sure if I should do an abortion joke. Clearly, I'm gonna win. You know what I mean? <laughs> My mom's Italian Catholic. She says to me, she's like, oh yeah? She's like, well, what would you do if you found out you were pregnant? And I'm like, I would be surprised. <laughs> I only got a couple of trays of eggs left, you know? The supply's going down. Um, that's good, we're doing good. So I live in Toronto, and uh, does anybody, is it, uh, has anybody been there recently? This guy, amazing. I live on the east side. <laughs> I live on the east side of Toronto. I don't know if that means anything to anybody, but my neighborhood's gentrifying really quickly. And uh, it used to be like pretty mixed, you know, but now it's like, it's very gentrified that they opened a Botox clinic, like right in the middle of it. And I'm like, and it's, it's just a family neighborhood. There's just babies and parents, okay? So I don't know who the fuck this Botox clinic is for. For like, for like the babies, you know? It's like, I wanna be nine months forever, you know? <laughs> So one day I'm walking by and they have like a sandwich board of all their services, right? And the first one is Botox, ops, and the second one is microneedling. I don't know, I guess if you want to make your face into a quilt, right? <laughs> and then the third service was vampire facial. Has anybody ever heard of this? Yeah. Really? Yeah? Like all I imagined was it's when a vampire comes and like bites your neck 
sucks your blood, and then spits it on your face like a vampire bukkake. Hey, hey, who doesn't like a bukkake? All right, buddy? Yeah. Little. Anybody into the bukkakes? I guess not. I mean, neither, neither, neither am I. I couldn't do a bukkake. I wouldn't know which way to turn. You know what I mean? Which direction to face. I, t I had to explain what a bukkake was to a group of middle-aged Italian women at a show one night. And I mean, you don't look good after that, right? <laughs> You don't have, people are not going to respect you after explaining a bukkake, you know? I was like, you know, it's when a bunch of buddies, right, are in a circle, joking around, right, in the woods. And there's a woman in the middle, we don't know, a forest maiden wandering through, right? And then, and then yabba dabba do, they drop their load on her tits, right? And I, I, but I want to say this. I want to say this. This thing is this idea of a load. You know, when guys are like, "Oh man, you should see me last night. Fuck this chick, and then I drop this load on her, on her face." <laughs> like, relax, okay? It's not a load. All right? I've never seen a river of jizz flow from my bed. You know what I mean? Like, maybe it's a diva cup's worth, okay? That's it. That's it. You don't see women walking around with their diva cups being like, hey, you should see this load of blood I'm walking around with. I'll throw it on your face if you're good. You know what I mean? Oh my God, guys. All right, right? Whatever you're into. Little more pain. I think I have time for one more. Did I get the light? One more. Okay, you guys into the dirtiness? <laughs> the Swede is looking really bad the whole time. Oh, there's the light. Two more. Pump it up. Uh, I'm just going to say this last thing. Is anybody uh, da uh, on dating online? You are? Which, which one are you on? Tinder? Hinge. Hinge? I never even heard of this. That's brutal. Okay. <laughs> but I'm not, so put your phones away, okay? Because every time I go on these online dating sites, I'd always get asked the anal question, all the time. And I didn't understand, because my face was my profile pic, not my ass, you know? Like, guys would be like, hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Do you do anal? Oh, fuck, you know? Hold the anal, you know? Hold it for, I don't know, when we're in the sack, slip it in, see where it goes. You know what I mean? But then I quickly discovered it's not a slip-in, you know? It's more like a jackhammer trying to split up a sidewalk, right? Like, I'm just saying, anal sex isn't like it is in the movies, you know? They make it look so easy, right? With those chicks in the condos, you know? And the palm trees. And then the camera does that, you know, close up right into her asshole. And I'm like, what the fuck? Am I supposed to find the truth in this dark hole? Zoom out, let me see the action, okay? But I'll tell you, I'll tell you the last experience I had on Tinder was with a guy named Joey Agostino. I don't know, if, I don't know if you got any Joey Agostinos up here, but this guy's killing it. Okay. So his first message to me was this: This is right out of the right of the gates. He's like, I really want to eat you out. And I'm like, you know what? I got nothing going on tonight. Right? But it's because he said really, you know? Because if he would have just said, I want to eat you out, insecure me would be like, really? But he took care of all that shit, right? So I'm like, let's go to the racist Agostino, okay? So then we were trying to figure out where we would meet up, right? And we decided we'd meet up halfway between where he lived and I lived, and he lived like uptown and I lived downtown. So he's like, uh, why don't you meet me up at the gas station at Young in the 401? Which is literally almost outside of the fucking city. I'm like, how the fuck is that halfway, right? And what are we gonna do when we get to the gas station? He's like, well, he goes, there's a couple of really tall trees. I'll park my car behind there. I got an Acura, leather seats, right? And then I'm like, you know what? Who the fuck am I, right? <laughs> I gotta be fancy with a bed and rose petals? No, 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 no. I can get a lick down at a gas station like the next guy. Right? So then when it's done, I'll just go fill up my tank, right? Two birds, one stone, you know? And then I'll just pop it in the convenience store, buy a couple of wipes, wipe it down, come to New York Comedy Club, nobody knows.
Let's fix this shit. Oh, let's go, everybody. Good night. Let's party in January. Good night. Woo!